Hi guys, Frostfangs here and welcome back once again to another Smite video. Today I'm going to be playing Thanatos with the Reaper skin now that it's October and Halloween-y and everything like that. I thought it made sense. We've got a Guan Yu and an Anubis. I'm hoping to do well. I haven't played Thanatos probably in a while, but I've got him like rank 7, I think. Or 6, got him rank 6. And we're using the Jack the Reaper skin, which uses the same voice back but has different effects. They're all kind of orangey as far as I know. Going against all our Vulcan and Keppers. God damn it, Capri is kind of a counter. Or is he? Or is he? Hold on, I'm confused. Because I know executes don't work on Kumba, because I remember Ao Kuang ulting, me playing Ao Kuang ulting Kumba and not killing him. So my execute won't work if Capri ults somebody, or does it? I don't remember. I thought that was. I, th I can't remember if Capri's ult was nerfed to the point of it not denying executes uh, ages ago. Or if I'm just imagining things. I guess I'll find out at some point. So, I'm gonna probably start with Warrior Tabai. Um, yeah, sure. So this is the build that I'm rolling with, a mix of these items. Kinda wanna do Warrior Tabai in the start of Bloodforge, but Bloodforge is expensive and I wanna get Jones first. Um, yeah, Sanctuary. Okay, so, this is the skin. Looks freaking fantastic. It's an old skin, and I can't remember when I even got it, but just, I love it. I love the way that he actually, like, grabs the top of the pumpkin when he pulls his head. It's it's just, it's just great. Anyway, um, this is Kit. If you don't know what it is, just pause it. I'm not gonna really explain it too much, because it's pretty straightforward. One deals damage, three deals damage, two buffs you, four is an execute. You regen health and mana when you kill people. It's pretty much it. And you also, yeah, when you kill minions and stuff as well. It's pretty simple, to be honest, but... His wand's a skill shot, if you want to call it a skill shot, um, you, you, that's what it looks like. It's got quite a long distance on it, deals a ton of damage, and Thanatos falls off a little bit. Late game, everybody knows that, but if you can get ahead in the early game, you won't even get to the late game, because Thanatos, that is fed, is disgusting to go against. I missed. We both missed. They look very similar in the way they're animated. I'm really, like, looking forward to finding out if, um, if it works. Wow, a lot of damage. Jesus. That didn't hit anyone because the minion died. Am I dead? That all could three me right now and kill me. Let's use that. Let's just get away. You can't kill yourself with your abilities, by the way. Like, your abilities cost mana and they cost health. You cannot kill yourself with your abilities. If you're too low health to use it, you just won't use it. You won't be able to. That's why he has such little mana. That's why you don't usually get mana pots. That's why multi potions were kind of invented, sort of. That's what I think, at least. I really like this skin. The effects look so cool. Thanatos overall is just a badass character, but this skin just makes it even more badass. It's quite hard to get a hold of because as far as I know, it's an exclusive, although I can nearly guarantee you that in a, there'll be a chest at Halloween and this will be in it. Could even be out now at the time that you're watching this video. I'm not sure. I don't check the chests all that often. We are getting... My wand didn't hit him then, apparently. My god. Now, Guan's a good, team, good person to have on my team because he's got a heal. Oh, my god. I'm having to avoid so much shit. The thing is, I have to play super aggressive, but the rest of my team don't. Like, Guan Yu's meant- Guan Yu's kind of passive, and Anubis is not aggressive at all. Like, he's kind of a backliner a little bit. My god, this is gonna be really tough. This is gonna be a really tough early game, and then late game I'm gonna fall off, so it's not gonna matter. I'm not hitting anyone. As I said, last- last time I played Thantos was months ago, so I'm not expecting to do too well. I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna enjoy myself and have a fun game, and hopefully- you know, not get wrecked too hard. The usual. Uh, Guan Yu's ult works well with mine, though, and Anubis's, because it's a stun. It's not a long stun, but it's, it's decent. Oh, we already hit for 100 on the 3. We'll hit for about 200 on the 1, I suppose. Something like that. Gonna be leveling the 1 first. I forgot to turn auto level on. Always have it on Thanatos, because I'm always leveling the 1, 3, and then the 2, so I always have it on, usually. Forgot to do it this time. They're just gonna clear waves for days. There we go. We got it, at least. Uh, I want to fight, but Thanatos without abilities this early is, is kind of useless. Shit. My god. He's low. I don't know why he's chilling here. Gwan, go ham. He's got no mana. He can't jump away. You take that. Could I get health off this? I do. Cool. I really forget how Thanatos plays. I really do. I wish I had the Archon skin. Sadly, I don't. Those of you guys that do, you're the real MVPs, because the Archon skin really is quite rare. You do not see it often. On the people that have, like, 10 plus K kills on Thanatos, they tend to have it, obviously, because they main Thanatos. But on everybody else, the Archon skin isn't really a thing. I see the Ragnarok Thor skin more often than I see the, um, the Archon one for Thanatos, to be honest. So you've got to roll now. 
really like the ult. It's an execute. That's pretty much the only time you're going to use it. You want to level it because it ups the threshold by 8%, I think it is. 4%, sorry, not 8% per level. So it goes from 24% to 40. 40% execute is like, they have to be at just under half health, and then you can execute them. It's kind of crazy if you think about it. This can go through walls. I can't see if this... Oh, it's so awkward to look at it like that. There we go. I'm actually going to wind up the ult here because he's pretty low. Going to wait for the Guan Yu to get him low enough. There we go. Oh, shit. He's low. So, Thanatos is one of the gods like Scylla who is perfectly designed to get kill after freaking kill. So many people have got pentas with um with Thanatos. I actually asked you guys on Twitter how many pentas you had and which gods you got those pentas with. And the main reply was Scylla and Thanatos. Obviously, they're the gods designed to get chain kills. Th Scylla, especially for the ult, Thanatos just because of the way his kit is full stop. It's designed to just get so many freaking kills. Bloodforge is a must, I'd say, in this build as well as cooldown. You need pen. Um, and you need Bloodforge. The build is really straightforward. You don't have to think about too much when you're building Thanatos, so I wouldn't worry about that. I want to use the one. I hit a minion. God damn it. That's what you get for being blind. Let's let's go back and get Jones. I've got no mana. So, his kit's very different to everybody else's because of the fact that your abilities use health and mana. The only god in the game that acts like that. It's a bit like Rod Tusker and the fact that you can't buy boots with him. It's the only god that is like that, which makes him very unique and... I think if you stop playing Thanatos earlier on and you keep playing him through your entire like experience with Smite, he's the type of god that you really don't want to drop just because of how different he is. It's hard to explain. We could totally go and jump him. Now you can use your ult 1-3 combo or ult 3-1 combo to kill people with your ult, technically. I mean, technically you're not killing them with the ult, you're killing them with the 1 and the 3, but you can use your ult to secure a kill instead of actually like execute somebody. Lagged a little bit then for some reason. Now they are doing construction above me still, so... If you hear noises in the background, my bad. I can't really do much about it. Let's back. Oh, shit. Fuck. Okay, thank God I have my hands on my keyboard. I beat you to it. Because I know I know you guys had the comment ready by the time you saw that Vulcan ult. A lot of the time I always have my hands off the keyboard when I'm making videos and when I back and stuff. And that nearly killed me. I nearly screwed myself over then. But I've learned from my mistakes and I learned not to... Be stupid enough to take my hand off the keyboard, even though I did, and I managed to get the, get it there lucky enough. Oh, that Vulcan trying to take advantage of little old me. Let's get this down. So as you can see, we're dealing a lot of damage already. Late game, you can still keep up, but more often than not, you will fall off a little bit. Or heavily, if you've been, like, in the middle the entire game. That's quite loud, isn't it? Oh my, why did he ult him? He's on like half health? That was the weirdest Capri ult I've ever seen. He ulted as soon as I landed. I guess to cleanse the CC, maybe? It's still odd. Ugh, oh, fucking Aegis. Now Aegis is a killer for Thanatos because you can't execute somebody if they're in Sanctuary. Um, it's annoying. It's really, really frustrating to jump on somebody just as they pop an Aegis and then you're kind of like, oh great, now I've got no kills. I'm just here awkwardly. Ah, oh, I'm dead. They both backed. Did they walk back to base? I might. I must have missed it. I saw them walking. Did they walk back? I'm confused. I completely blanked that. I have no idea what just happened, but I died. One and one. I've got the. I got first kill and I got first death, so it's fine. I, I've evened myself out. Seven minutes in and we're one one. This is not going to be a good game for me. For Thanatos, you want to get a lot of kills early on in the game. You want to have an aggressive team to go with you. And now that we're 1-1 one and one at 7 minutes, it's not a quick game at all. Um, you want to get ahead before 10 minutes even hits, to be honest, as Thanatos. And we're not at all. We're the opposite right now. We're quite slow. Oh, god damn. I kind of did that to save myself more than anything else. I could jump them, but I'm not, I'm not going to do that. That was my bad, to be honest. I went in thinking I could get a kill. I'm just going to try and secure the- wow. Wow. Fuck me. By the time I could see the mark on the ground, I was like already slowed and CC'd enough to the point of not really knowing which direction to go in. He got it. Cool. That was like a free kill right there. Anubis is dealing a lot of damage. I'm more ahead than Anubis is on level somehow. I'm not sure how this game's going to go. Because 2-2 two, two at 8 minutes is slow and I need it to be fast for Thanatos. Like, a Thanatos video should be no longer than half an hour unless it's Conquest, and then I guess it makes sense, kind of. Just look at the skull. It looks so badass. 
the taunt and everything. It's so well designed. It's awesome. I really like this skin. It looks great. Can't do Fire Giant on my own. Not saying that's going to happen. I guess I'm after going to kind of chill. Diados has been not played that much recently. And I feel like because everybody's kind of leaning towards the gods that can fight well at a range and CC all the time. And Diados is kind of one of those gods that if you're not great with, you're pretty bad with. Because a lot of people think, and I kind of think this too, that there are better gods than Thanatos that you can pick for Joust. Um, as well as everything else, to be honest. He's weird. I don't know where he sits at the moment. And I'm waiting for him to kind of maybe get, maybe even get a buff. If you're a pro, if you're like a pro player or whatever, you're super high ranked, you probably don't even care. Because you're already good at Thanatos. But for everybody else, he just doesn't feel as strong as some of the other picks you can have. To be honest. I think everybody can kind of agree on that, sort of. Of course, uh, well, of course everybody's not going to agree because it's the internet, but still. My god. Why did my Sanctuary pop off so late? I Sanctuaried ages ago, and then it, and then it popped when I got medded. Okay. Okay. I, like, I hit, I hit Sanctuary when I landed. After I used my one, I hit Sanctuary, and then it went on when I glitched forward. Ping's at 80, so I don't even know what's going on. We can get Blood Forward now, though. There's a delay on everything I do. What's going on? Like, I, I, oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. Let's just move on and pretend nothing's happening. We're level, though. Again, we're 3-3. Three, three. I'm the only one with deaths, though. And again, I'm Thanatos. I'm, I'm kind of screwed at the moment. Uh, just a little bit. Just a, tiny, just a teensy bit screwed. Ah. <sighs> you can see how much we hit for. It's crazy. There we go. Don't take mana buff as Thanatos. Don't be that guy. Just don't, please. Please don't. He's one of those gods just like Zonkui. Like, decent, just... There's better picks, usually. Like most of the time, especially for people that are new to this game, you're not you're gonna pick Thanatos and then you're gonna pick somebody else who's easier. Oh the silence. Oh, son of a bitch. That dealt like nothing. I'm gonna actually Oh, perfectly timed. Perfectly timed. Oh, the damage is crazy. They've all got sanctuaries to counter me. Sons of bitches. Sons of bitches. So you even heal off his turret, by the way, I think. Yeah, I think you even heal off killing his turret. We didn't then because we were full health. I know you can heal off your one, but I didn't know if you could heal off your basics, and you can, because I think it counts as a as a kill of something, like a minion. I also like the fact that he sweeps on his third attack. Really good for clearing stuff. As you can see there, one, 0 0.75, 1 0.5. Third one hitting AoE. There we go. Once you've got that leveled enough, you can clear the whole wave just by using your sweep thing. Ugh. Oh, no, the little ward fell over. It's so sad when wards die because they kind of just collapse. It's not like they just disappear. They, like, fade away into death. It's horrible. Rip wards. Oh, there we go. I should have used my two, actually. I can't remember if it was even up. Ugh, that's annoying. Let's go get this little turret out. So let's just check. Son of a bitch. Can I check now? Okay, you do. For sure. I was 90% sure. It wasn't 100% though. Let's back. And we can probably go ahead and get Titans. You're all, it's all about Ben and Power. Like, all of his items are red, pretty much. Like, Warrior Tab by Jotuns, Blood Forge, Titans Bane, Brawlers, and Hydras. They're all kind of the same color. They're all blood colored. I, I guess. I, I, I wouldn't even know. Whatever. I'm, I'm an alien. I don't have red blood. What you're talking about? Let's let's actually go get a kill. Stop stop talking about nonsense. Oh shit! Ah, I did the combo in the wrong order. Fuck! He's got the goddamn Capizol. Now Capri is a complete counter to Thanatos. If they didn't have a Capri, I'd be doing so much better. Capri is the utter counter. Just he just is. It's it's fucking Keppers. It's a Capri. Everybody knows Capri counters Thanatos. I don't even know I have to clarify. I don't know why I'm having to clarify that. I've caught up though. Three and three. I'll take that. You can hear that heat. That that um, that what's it called? What's it called? Heartbeat noise. That means somebody's below the threshold. And if you use your two and you're walking in their sort of direction, you're going to be a lot faster than if they weren't below the threshold. They have wards for days. Ah, oh, there we go. Oh, see what I mean with train killing? It's just it's just how it works with Thanatos. It's great. Oh, Guan Yu, thank you, man. See, I got a nice team, finally. It took a while, but we finally found one. Oh, is he going in? 
he's gone. Oh, shit. Wow. You see what I mean? When they're below the threshold, you feel like you can get the kill for sure. Bloodforge just saved us from a ton of damage. I really like Thanatos. That's why I've got him rank 6. But he can fall off easily. If you've got a team that support you, like right then, what just happened, he's the king of chain killing, and Scylla is the, key the queen of chain killing, like, for sure. That's something I think everybody can agree on, even on the internet. Should we take this? Yeah, let's take this. Did I even hit that? I did. I saw the little immune thing. So your one does slow as well. Your one does um deal bonus damage, it's like percentage base damage. Like, it's crazy. The one is crazy. Goddamn turret. And your three silences. Basic sort of stuff. There's not really too much to him. He's pretty simple, but the one has a ton of effects on it. So. Ugh. I'm gonna have to retreat here. Oh, you bitch. Oh, no, I missed. He's gonna throw me. Oh, the Duke. Am I good? I'm dead. He's gonna jump. Oh, my God. I couldn't three because I was below the threat. See what I mean? Like, I could have used my three there, but it would have killed me. I was mid through it, and then I lost enough health, and it wasn't able to finish it because I didn't have enough health to do it. Uh, I don't even know if I really want Hydras. We'll go Hydras anyway, though. I like Frostbound on him. I know it's weird, but Frostbound works for me. And um, what's in popular items I haven't got? Reinforced Greaves are good. They did get nerfed a little bit, though, didn't they? Yeah, they did get nerfed a little bit. Bulwark. You can build Bruiser on him. I don't usually like to do that, so I'm just going to go full damage because we can. I'm also going to get Wrath. Wrath is a dick thing to buy on Thanatos. You go in, you one, you three, you Wrath, and you land two basic attacks. Don't get Wrath if you want to be a nice guy. It's a dick move. But we're going for it anyway. It's like an extra second of a stun. So you can stun people for essentially sort of like three seconds. I know it's technically only two, but it feels like three. It feels like a really long chain of CC when you have Wrath on there. Should we go? I think we should go. Oh, shit. Oh, we can stun two people with Wrath? I thought you were only able to stun one. Ah, oh, shit. I'm gonna get the turret out. Oh, my targeted shit. Oh, wow. My thing didn't click. So I actually did the basic, but it was like an inch away from actually using it. I don't know what he's doing. What? He went, eh, eh. Did he like drop? Did he like have his mouse on the edge of his table and he just threw it off so it just kept going? <laughs> what the fuck? This game has been even for the entire thing. We haven't pushed tower and we were knee deep in there, Titan. What the fuck? Okay, I can't afford Hydras. So Hydras did get changed a little bit recently. There it is. It gives you passive mana per five, depending on your missing mana. And I think, it, yeah, I think that's all that was changed. I think. I think it's a little bit more expensive too. I could be wrong. I don't know. I just know it's a thing that I like to buy on Thanatos. Let's flip these rounds. I didn't realize you could stun multiple people with Wrath. I thought you could only stun one person. So uh, Wrath's actually better than I thought it was. There we go. I'm not going to let him dash away. Why did I sanctuary that? I thought that was Wrath for some reason. I'm, a, I'm an idiot. Oh, that wasn't enough. Ah, oh, we got him. Just go in. Go all in. Oh, you son of a bitch. No. Ah, we're good. We're alive. Bloodforge saved our asses again. I fucking love Bloodforge. What a great freaking play right there. Did we get all three? I don't know if we got all three there, but I'm nine and five. I said he can fall off late game. Keep in mind, I got it wrong in my NEM video. I said it the other way around because I recorded that at like 5 a.m. But you can fall off on them late game, same as you can fall off with Thanatos, but a lot of the time you won't. Just heal off that. Fucking 350 heals. Uh, I don't really want to fight this. Or just double stun. Oh, did we just... Oh, no. Let me out. Fuck. Okay, so... Yeah, that's what, that's what I meant to talk about. I meant to talk about it in another video, but I keep forgetting. I said in my NEM video that she falls off late game. She can fall off late game, just like every other god. If you die enough times and you're 12 kills behind at 10 minutes, then you've fallen off. <laughs> I got it wrong. It was recorded at like freaking 5 a.m. I wasn't in the... You could see in the video that I was fucking tired. So that's my excuse. Same with Thanatos. I said Thanatos can fall off. I'm not in this case, because we're doing well. I'm 9 and 6 and I'm full build and actually kicking ass still. So yeah, I would have killed them there, but 
Three sanctuaries or two? A Capri doesn't have it. I thought he did. Two sanctuaries is annoying. Plus a Capri. If you guys are not impressed by my, me going as well as I'm going right now with a Capri on their team, you are a mean person. <laughs> you are a mean person. Because I've tried, okay? Going against Capri, that's not easy. Going against Capri with a freaking Thanatos is one of the most annoying things you can actually do. I'm probably not going to be able to take this. I've got lifesteal and stuff from Bloodforge. Oh, they've got it already. They have wards for sure. Oh, the damage. Look at his health. It's gone. His health is fucking gone. We going all in. Oh, talking about fucking sprint. That's annoying. Really? Like, two sprints and two sanctuaries? They really just don't like me. I, if, that, if two sprints, two sanctuaries, and a Capri doesn't make a Thanatos video deserve a like, I don't know what does. Thank you for watching so far up into this video, by the way. Oh. If you've watched this far, be sure to comment two egg, two sanctuaries, two sprints, and a Capri equals shit fucking Thanatos. Or something like that. Something along those lines. I don't know. All me. Oh, no, no, wow! See what I mean? Two sprints, two sanctuaries, and two tha and, and two fucking- What am I even talking about? Two sanctuaries, two sprints, and a Capri. That's it, that's all I need to see in the comment. Just that, and then whatever else you want. Just to let me know that you've watched this far into the video, you legend. Let's finish this, for God's sake. No, no, fuck you, dude. No, no, no. I was gonna pick up two kills there. I can guarantee you. I finished what? Nine and six? Nine, six, three, I will take it. So we had three assists, double that. No. Add another three, then we had those, then our deaths, and add another three, and then we had our kills. Perfect. I'll take it, you know? I will take it. Ah. <sighs> we still won. The fact that we won, two sanctuaries, two fucking sprints, and a Capri, I'm proud of myself. And we just got the Fafnir freaking skin. Fantastic. What a way to finish the video. I'll show you guys the stats now for those of you that are interested The fact that we had more player damage than anyone else on our team surprising because I thought Anubis could have had a lot more than that They deserve to have had more player damage than we did their Vulcan kicked ass So did their Ola. We won by just a little bit. So thank you guys for watching Leave a like if you've enjoyed let me know your thoughts on everything in the comment section down below I will see you all very soon and as always Stay frosty